Hello, people. Hope you guys had a good weekend. I do have some jokes for you guys. And I appreciate all you guys for watching my videos. I really do. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to do some squats. And we're going to do some calf raises. And do a little bit of stretching with the with the overhead um, pulley system. Yeah, I tried to get that one video I was work, been working on, but it's taking a lot more work than I expected. And I gotta wait until I get things more arranged right. I gotta. I've been trying all this new music in the background you're hearing. I've been trying different things and stuff, but it's just gotta stay positive, people. And the reason why I keep making these videos is to show you consistency, because remember when I showed you guys last week about opening and closing my hand and opening opening and holding it for like 10 seconds each look at my hand it works look at but you got to put the work in people there's no other way around it you got to be putting that consistency in you got to put you got to put that little extra effort into it you will see results if you put the work in i can't guarantee it cuz i don't know how much work you guys really put into it but if you guys start doing it, I'm telling you, the only way you're going to get breakthrough is if you start doing it. And if you remember on my first videos, my hand used to be all like this all the time. But like I say, I always try to put the water bottle on my hand. And I've been doing a lot of these exercises. I've been doing it for a week straight, which I've been doing more than that. But I've been putting an extra time into it. My hand was so sore like on Friday. Because like when I took that little fall, I, I what happens, I... I didn't have my ankle, my AFO brace on, which I don't have it on tonight either. I just have my knee brace on because I do calf raises. When I did that the other night, or the other day, that Friday's video, when I fell over, what happened, I was stepping off the grass onto the regular flat surface. Where I rolled my ankle a little bit. When I fell, I kind of fell on this hand a little bit. I fell all the way off to my side. I didn't have the right angle, so you guys can't see me fall, but, which is probably good because I was all... didn't realize until I got back into the room that... <laughs> The grass was still wet, and I had a wet spot on my side, on my, on my side. But anyways, what I'm trying to tell you guys is just, you fall, you get back up. There's no other way around it. So let's start off with one joke right now. Hey everyone, this is Soundro. I hope you enjoy using my tracks. If you and, um, here, go premium today, and I promise to make lots more... What's, opposite, what's the opposite side of irony? What's the opposite side of irony? Wrinkly. Okay. There are three types of people in the world. Those who can count and those who can't. There are three parts of... There are three types of people in the world. Those who can count and those who can't. Well, we're going to keep it like that for right now. Let's see what we got here. I know this music I'm using right now, I'm just trying this new site I found. Well, I'm, I've been on it for like a month. It's called UpbeatMusic.com. And it's all copyright free music. Okay, let's get a better angle at this. And we're going to go ahead and do some squats right now. Actually, let's go ahead and do some... Um, cab raises first. Let's see if we get a better angle at that. Oh, 
Oh, baby, please. Okay. When you do these, you want to. This is going to help give you the full range for full range of motion, but not as good as when you have a uh, two by four underneath you. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do some squats now, people. I do have my knee brace on. And I've been walking around with my um, weight, ankle weight on my ankle when I was during the day. I would have did the video this afternoon. I was going to do an outside one. But I also had the neighbors. They were out there playing their gumbia music, their Spanish music. Or they were having a little party. You know, like when you always hear the kids in the background making all that noise. It's from that same place over there. But anyways, that's why I couldn't do a video outside today. So I decided to do it inside. So we're going to put our hands together. In praying position, Jesus, please look after me and my family. Please look after my dog, Phoebe. Make sure she stays healthy and safe. Look after everybody out there that's going through whatever they're going through in their recovery. Keep us all healthy and safe and help us with our recovery. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Remember, I'm not trying to be religious on you guys. I do whatever I do. You guys do what you do. But, so, what we're going to do right now, get our legs underneath us. And we're going to squat with our hands in front of us. That's going to counterbalance our weight. And when you do this, you want to have, like, you want to have a little bit more weight on top of your affected side, which is my left side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 18, 19, 20, whatever it was. So let's get back over here. going to do the overhead pulley setup okay but we're not going to really do a whole bunch of movement what we're going to do with this one what we're going to do is just get a good stretch out people sure you got these things even so this is just good to get that stretch out with your shoulder okay people so you want to raise it up as high as you can your affected side you want to hold it there for about 10 seconds without losing your grip so you use your unaffected side to push down as hard as you can okay get a good stretch out do a couple of motions just to loosen it up a little bit and then get it up there again people hold it there for a little bit get a good stretch out that's gonna help loosen your shoulder a little bit plus it just feels good yeah. this is gonna help with the flexibility in your shoulder and your arm and it's gonna help you to keep your grip on your hand as well do it again. You want to do three sets or more of these. 
this is good for your, your shoulder because I'm sure you guys get a lot of plasticity. Hold it there again. If you want, you want to lean into it a little bit. That way you get a good shoulder. And then hold it up again as high as you can. Lean it. See, lost my grip. I think that would have been my fourth set anyways. Sorry about that, people. And what we're going to do right now, this helps with your balance, and this also helps with your equilibrium, like I said, and this also helps with your hamstring. We're going to do some toe touches, okay? One, two, three, four, five. When you do it, you want to use your unaffected side to help out with your affected side and hold it out there as long as you could and get a good stretch out, okay? Six, seven, eight. Hope you guys had a good weekend. I really do. I hope you guys just stay, keep staying positive. Because what I what what my channel is trying to do is just try to help you to build consistency into you guys. Because I do these videos just to show you that the more work you put in, you're gonna start seeing results. I can't promise it. It's all about how much work you put into it. But that's why I kind of I keep making these videos to show you that it can happen. I guess I'm the guinea pig okay let's go ahead and give you guys a couple more jokes let's see what we got here what do you call a can opener that don't work what do you call a can opener that don't work a can't opener These are some other jokes I found on that other side I was telling you guys about on Friday. And what we're going to do right now, like we always do, in all my videos I always do, I always try to do the shoulder thing. With the hands together, in praying position again, which interlaced, if you don't like me saying, in praying position. Hold out as best you can, straight out in front of you. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse. One, two. Okay, and I need to move this out of the way a little bit. Just realize that. Okay, like I said, reverse. I think we're going back this way, right? One, two, three, four, five. Reverse. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that's the way I was supposed to go, but it doesn't matter. The more, the better, anyways. And right now, what we're going to do... If you can, sorry about that. See if you can put your hand behind your back. And what you want to do with this one is going to help loosen up the shoulder as well. I'll try to turn it around. Get get your hand 
I know it's going to be difficult, but it's going to take practice if you can't do that. So you want to hold your hands behind your back. What you want to do is like the idle nose, like shoulder shrugs, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Those feel good as well. I gotta be careful because I do not have my AFO brace on. And like I tell you, my goals are to be by Christmas of this year off both my braces. So that's why I'm doing a lot of these leg exercises as much as I can, people. The calf race is really gonna help me out. And doing the the thing with the pan on the floor, that's I I was gonna do that tonight too, but I did them this afternoon because like I said I was gonna do the I was gonna do the video outside but like I said there was kinda of noise out there and plus it's just too hard to do it out there with the pan. And I just don't feel like doing that right now. I'm doing other exercises. I'm trying to do the the squats, the the toe touches and the cab raises. I'm sorry if I'm mumbling a little bit. It's kinda of late. But just let you guys know, you guys gotta just stay positive. And I just got a lot of my mind lately. I gotta go deal with physical on Wednesday. I've been doing a lot of little doctor's appointments just to make sure my health is right. For you people out there, you always wanna get a checkup. And you just wanna make sure you're always okay and make sure your blood levels are good. They're supposed to give me my other results from my other blood, blood work I got done. So I got two different blood works done on the same time, but they didn't have one of them. I guess they do a they do a testosterone test or something like that to see how I'm doing with that. And plus they were trying to see how, my might have to see a neurologist because remember about a month ago I was telling you I was getting these light headaches. That's what got me to go to all these um, doctor's appointments. But you always want to do your checkups because if you had a stroke, there's possibilities you could also have another stroke. So you always want to be aware of all your appointments and make sure you're aware of your body. If you start acting weird, always get the checkup people. Because you do not want to have another one. Probably didn't want to have the first one in the first place either. But anyways, this is where we're at today. And um, I appreciate you guys. If you guys can, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. And just stay safe, people. I just want you guys to know that days get hard sometimes. I did a lot of good things this weekend. Well, like not good things, but I, I was out there in the backyard. I um, cut down that lawn because obviously I tripped on it. So I trimmed that down yesterday, which was Saturday, today, Sunday, Monday morning. But you always want to stay as busy as you can, people. Because the more busy you are, the less you'll be in your depressed mode. Because I notice when I ain't busy or I ain't doing anything, I get sad and I get in that little depressed mode and I don't like that. You got to not let yourself get into that dark zone, people. Once you start doing that, that's where the depression comes in. If you stay active, you stay busy. That's going to help you to stay positive. And that's what I'm trying to do. That's what these videos I do. Try to stay positive and keep telling you guys that the more work you put in, you're going to see the payoff. And you have to do it for yourself as well, people. Because like I said, we only got one life to live and we want to live it to the best you can. We had a second chance at living, people. Do the best you can. Make it count this time. Do all the little bit. Do all the little work. Do all the little things you need to do, and you'll be fine. Okay, I'll see you guys Wednesday. I'll have more jokes for you guys on Wednesday. Thank you for your time. And if you guys have any comments, leave down below. If you can, go back to some of my old videos, and you'll see where I started from, where I came from. I I had real bad plastic. I still have bad plasticity. That's why I work so hard. That's why I do the circles all the time with my arms, because I still got a lot of plasticity. But if you notice, my hands have been doing better because of those exercises. What you want to do is you want to hold it out, close it, make sure your thumb's over your fist or your fingers, hold it open for like 10 seconds. If you can, hold your hand in front of you, which is going to take a couple of different moves and stuff. But anyways, we'll get to that. I'll probably do on Wednesday. I'm going to do a lot of hand exercises. I'm going to break out the... The therapy putty and do some other things I got like this thing 
this hand exercise thing. Sorry about that. That works out pretty good. That works out. Helps build up the strength. We're not trying to build up the strength right now, people. We're trying to build like to have your hand open. Because that's where it, that's how people can always tell you how to stroke when you just arch it up and stuff. Anyways, I'm going to leave you guys at that. I don't want to bore you guys too much. You guys have a good evening or a good day, and I'll see you guys Wednesday.